Hey guys, this video is for our second through fourth grade team for February week one. We have a brand new month, super exciting. Our new life app for the month is service, lending a hand to help someone else. And our memory verse for the month is anyone who wants to be first must be the very last. They must be the servant of everyone. Mark 9, 35. And um, jumping in this first week, um, our Bible story is about Jesus washing the disciples' feet. And our bottom line is serve others because of what Jesus did for us. So um, going along with that story, we have our car ride conversation. Make sure that every kid in your group takes one of these home. These are super important. We really want parents to look at these on their car ride home so that they know what their kids learned about this week. And um, they always have a great little blog on the back. So just make sure that every kid gets one of these. These are just for this week. Then jumping into our leader guide. Oh, sorry, one other thing. Another thing your kids are gonna take home this week beside their memory verse card and card conversations are their monthly take home. So they're gonna get a little service hat and also a bag. And this bag is for them to bring back some canned goods for the Arnold Food Pantry. So challenge your small group, say, hey, we want our small group to bring back the most food, the most bags. So go with your parents to the grocery store, fill these up this week and bring it back next week because we want to serve our community and that's one way we can do that. So all kids will get one of those. And if they aren't here this week and they come in following weeks, make sure that they get one to take home on those weeks as well. So um, at 8.20 and 10.20, we would love for you to join us in the garage door room for coffee and donuts, just so we can celebrate birthdays, celebrate things that are going on in people's lives that are awesome, pray for each other, and also just pray for our kids, um, that God would help them to understand that we serve others because of what Jesus did for us, and that God would show them that to be first, you have to be last, which is kind of against what the world would normally say. So we'll be done with that at 8.30 and 10.30 for you to head back to your room and make sure you've got everything ready to go on your cart. Then when kids start to roll in at 8.40 and 10.40, um, make sure you know everybody's name and help any first-time guests to feel welcomed and comfortable. And then you're going to give each kid one of these little um, like restaurant checks and a pen or a pencil. And you're gonna ask them, if you guys could order any food from any restaurant, what would it be? And you're gonna have them write down everything they would love to order on their check and encourage them to share some of what they wrote um, with the rest of the group. And if they finish with that, they can decorate their little hat too. They could put service on it or they could just decorate it however they would like because we're gonna kind of be talking about those throughout the morning. So then when service starts at 9 and 11, you're gonna do an interactivity called a water race. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna have kids find a partner. If you have an odd number, you might have to be somebody's partner. And you're gonna give each kid a sheet of parchment paper, and then you're gonna give each kid a straw and a permanent marker. And they're gonna draw a starting line and a finish line on their sheet of paper. And then you're gonna come around and place um, two drops of water. We've got little droppers for you on your cart at their starting line, and when you say go, the partners are gonna take their straws and blow their dot of water from the starting line to the finish line. So they're gonna to try to blow their dot of water across the finish line first. So whoever's water spreads and reaches the finish line first is the winner. And they can ask for more water if they wanna do another round. So you'll just close that down by saying, so guys, who won the most rounds of the water race? Oh, that's awesome. I noticed that it was a bit challenging to get the water drop to the finish line. But that was a pretty cool thing to watch in the end. Well, today in large group, we're gonna learn about someone who did something pretty amazing with water as well. And what he did might seem challenging for us, but we're gonna learn why it was worth it to him. So let's go to large group and find out. So you'll head down to large group with your kids. Hey, I'm almost done. Um, we have live storyteller and host this week, so it's gonna be a great week down in large group. We have an awesome lesson. When we get back for our review activity at 9.40 and 11.40, um, you're going to play Pin the Sponge. They can't see you, so this is her, your pastor is being really annoying. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to have two of these for your group, and you will take them up to the wall using painter's tape. And then you're going to give each kid one of these little pieces of sponge, and you'll have two blindfolds on your cart that look like this. So um, what you'll do is you'll take the activity pages up onto the wall, and then you'll divide your kids into two teams and line them up, you know, on the other end of the room from your feet. And um, you'll designate one picture for each team. And then um, provide each team with a blindfold and each kid with a sponge strip and a little piece of duct tape to put on their sponge strip. So you can have the kids roll the duct tape and stick it onto the back of their sponge. And when it's their turn 
they're going to put their blindfold on and try to walk down um, to their team's picture and pin the sponge on the foot. So the twist is, though, before they can walk down, you're going to ask them a review question. And the kids at the front of each line race to raise their hands to be the first to answer. And if they're the first to answer and get their question right, they get to have a teammate help them walk down and pin their sponge onto the foot. If they get the question wrong, then the other team gets a chance to ask for, for help. So the team with the most sponges on their foot is the winner. And you'll just keep going until every kid has had a turn or all of these questions have been answered. So here's all the different review questions with the answers. And you'll just close this activity down by saying, so guys, you all did a great job racing down to clean your team's foot. Can you imagine how stinky the disciples' feet were in our story today? Yeah, Jesus didn't care how dirty they were or how bad they smelled. He just wanted to serve them. And we don't need to be going around washing people's feet. But let's remember the example that Jesus set for us and serve others because of what Jesus did for us. So then make it personal. Tell um, an example of how you have served someone because you were inspired by Jesus. Then for the memory verse activity, um, what you're going to do, instead of construction paper, you're going to have these little um, sit spots that are little like rubber circles. And you'll need some music from your phone. So first you're going to practice looking up the memory verse together and reading it together with the motions. And then you're going to make a line. Um, you'll put a sit spot down for each kid that you have in your small group. So you might have to borrow sit spots from other groups around you. I'm going to try to spread those out evenly between the carts. But if you have more kids, you might have to borrow them from a smaller small group. And you want to put them about one foot apart. So maybe like one per square on the carpet. And then you're going to encourage kids to find a circle and stand on it. And then you're going to stand at the front of the kid at one end of the line and discuss how, okay, right now this looks like it's the front of the line. But then walk to the other end and ask kids to face you and explain how, okay, now this looks like it's the front of the line. So it just depends on which way you're facing, who's the leader and who is last. Well, we're going to play a game that's kind of like musical chairs. I'm going to put music on my phone. And when I press pause and the music stops, you have to race to sit down on one of the circles. And your goal is to sit in the last seat. Um, but it's important to find any seat so that you don't get out of the game because there's going to be one fewer circles than you have kids, just like musical chairs. So the trick is, though, you guys aren't going to know which is the first and which is the last because I'm going to change it up each round. So you're going to have to guess which end is the first and which end is the last. So then with each round, you're going to take away a circle so it gets harder. And they have to decide, okay, do I want to try to be the last or do I just want to try to get a circle to stay in the game? So you're going to say, in our memory verse, Jesus told his disciples that the person who doesn't mind being last and putting others before themselves is the real winner. And I don't know about you guys, but I would rather be a winner in Jesus' eyes than win some silly game. So let's remember to put our friends first this week and serve others because of what Jesus did for us. So you have some optional small group discussion questions. Why should you serve others? Name some things that God has done for you. What would you tell someone that asks, what does it mean to serve God? Um, I want to serve others because blank. Who are some people who are great examples of serving others? And then to close down in prayer, you don't need anything. Just ask kids to close their eyes and think of something that Jesus has done for them that they are really grateful for. And then together as a group, just pray and thank Jesus for what he's done and ask for help to live a life of service just like him. So here's a little prayer you can close with. That's it for this week. Make sure all of the kids take home a hat and a little bag to bring back canned goods. Make sure they all get a memory verse card and a car ride conversation. And we hope to see you at 820 and 1020 in the garage door room. Thank you guys so much for serving and being leaders. Super grateful for you. Stay warm outside in the cold, and we'll see you on a gorgeous 60-degree Sunday morning. Bye-bye.